this video I will quickly show you how to uh, connect your old uh, DVD writer something like this with your PC so if you have built a brand new PC which doesn't have a DVD writer and you happen to have one from your old computer or you know maybe you got it from somewhere else uh, then this video is for you I'll show you how to connect it however if you are uh, planning to buy a new uh, DVD writer I strongly suggest you to go with a you know, USB one so that you can just connect it from uh, uh, outside through a USB port and uh, be done with it but in this video I will show you how to connect this uh, older uh, chunky um, DVD writer with uh, a new computer so uh, before starting uh, I'll just give you one brief overview of overview of this uh, DVD writer it uh, comes with two connections uh, as you can see it here um, this port here is a SATA port and this port here is called as I think a SATA power cable so you have to connect that here and uh, connect your uh, SATA cable here now if you are wondering how a SATA cable looks like uh, it looks like uh, this come on come on camera you can do it yeah it won't do it i want to do it manually okay so this is how uh, a seta cable basically looks like it sometimes they are flat at both ends but sometimes they have uh, an l shape at one end which you know it uh, which connects to your motherboard and uh, then you have a uh, another port uh, like this which basically connects to the DVD writer and there is one more cable which is called as um, a SATA power cable which I will quickly show you after I open my uh, PC and uh, so this is a temporary set setup I won't be installing this uh, writer inside the uh, computer permanently I'll just keep it maybe on the top of the PC and uh, I actually want to install uh, GTA inside this and uh, when I came out it was in DVD it was not in not available digitally at that time when I pre-ordered it so um, never mind uh, the backstory but yeah let's start uh, interfacing so uh, now I have uh, disconnected and uh, uh, completely open my PC case uh, uh, remember to just disconnect all the power cables and everything hazardous which is connected to your computer just to remove it before uh, opening it or so uh, first I will show you where the uh, SATA ports are on the motherboard so as you can see uh, next to the uh, graphic card here uh, where I am focusing uh, these are basically the SATA ports you will see that your computer has like here I have like uh, six ports um, uh, each having a pair of two um, but your system can have more or less but they basically look like uh, this that's why the cable is L shaped so you know uh, a cable looks like uh, this one and uh, you can then uh, basically easily connect it uh, I think like this in this pattern so if you see the uh, cable closely you will see that uh, it has a, a, a slot here which basically uh, matches with the notch uh, inside this uh, cable and be a little careful because uh, these are made up of plastics and uh, you know you can snap them if you uh, if you put a lot of pressure or you know um, if you put a lot of uh, horizontal pressure or something like that on it uh, so this is how uh, setup port looks like uh, sorry for all the shaking but uh, um, I'll quickly show you how does uh, a SATA power cable looks like it looks like this 
it should be there in your uh, DSU. Uh, it uh, there should be one uh, cable coming out of your PSU if it is not a modular one, and if it is a modular one, there should be one cable which has uh, like four or five connection on it uh, together. So these so these have like uh, multiple SATA power ports uh, on it, and this cable is basically connected to your uh, PSU so it provides uh, power to your uh, you know to your case uh, so let's start the installation now uh, first uh, thing I will what I'll do is uh, I'll connect my uh, SATA cable to the motherboard pin I'll just quickly move the camera to show you and uh, maybe I can do it with my one hand uh, so yeah, this is the cable and uh, I'll just uh, go ahead and uh, just put it in one random slot uh, and you will hear a click when it connects there and uh, now what I'll do is uh, I'll connect the uh, where are you I'll connect the other end to the uh, DVD writer Okay, so let's go ahead and connect it. Now, yep. So just match the uh, slots uh, while uh, plugging it in, and uh, it's that simple. Now let's uh, go ahead and do the same with the uh, SATA power cable, and uh, yeah, match the slot and it's done so it is uh, that simple to do it it just takes like two minutes of time and uh, I'll keep it like this so i can show you that it is working fine okay so that's how you basically install it just two cables interfacing is done i'll start my computer and i'll show you that this DVD writer actually works. So my uh, PC is on again, and uh, this is the first test that I'm going to do. I have my uh, DVD out. Uh, this is the first DVD of uh, uh, GDA, and uh, there are uh, six other. So I'll just go ahead and uh, press the DVD writer button here to see if it works yes it's working and uh, another sign that it is working correctly is just uh, head over to your uh, monitor and uh, in your computers uh, you will see in that in your computer you will see that you have a dvd uh, reader writer installed there now i'll just uh, put the dvd in and uh, see if it reads it let's hope it, I hope it will work yes it works so yeah I'll go ahead and uh, now play some uh, uh, GTA and you go ahead and uh, subscribe to this channel leave a comment if you have any questions and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.